hey guys welcome back to the channel once again and it's another episode of girl talk with doom doom and of course my name is Mebilia and welcome to my channel if this is your first time something upon my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to join the big happy family by hitting the subscribe button right below this video and if you're already a subscriber you're the mvp you're my darling you're my family you know i love you you know how we do it so today is another girl talk video and we're going to be talking about how to charm how to charm <laughs> i have to stress how to charm any nigerian man particularly as i said african men but let me speak about what i know nigerian men and why do i speak like i know i'm not a relationship thera therapist or anything but judging by the general way of thinking and the general kind of personality that nigerian men have you can to an extent predict what is going to be attractive or what's going to charm a nigerian man and probably get him to like you more now i'm not saying that everything i say is going to work on everybody or that this is the only way you can get this man to get like into you now i'm going to give you like some tips that can basically help you when a man is already interested in you maybe he's already asking you out he has already indicated interest in you he's probably calling you you know chatting you up texting you and stuff like that so there are some things you can do that can basically just draw him close draw him close draw him closer so let's just get right into it guys oh so fabulous <laughs> So guys, I have divided my points into seven different talking points and seven different tips. So you guys, let me just be taking them one by one. And um, the first point I'm going to make is be feminine. Now, men are basically masculine creatures. Some men are more masculine than others. Some men are alpha males. Some men are beta males and all that. But Nigerian men generally like to form hard guys. These men are very aware of their masculinity and also because we are in an African society, you know, masculinity is applauded and all that. So the average Nigerian man is in touch with his masculine side. So you don't have to come up forming, oh, I can do what you can do or I can be what you can be. You have to emphasize your femininity and somehow it gets them more attracted to you and it draws them more closer or more interested in you. Now, how do you accentuate your femininity? I'm talking about the way you dress. I'm talking about the way you speak to him, the way you even listen, the way you act when you guys go out. You know, try to be feminine, be soft-spoken. Don't laugh on top of your voice. Don't shout on top of your voice. Don't be aggressive. Don't get angry and show anger too easily. Don't um, be arguing at the top of your voice with his friends. Now, some guys may like that. So they may like a girl that can play PS4 with them and scream and jump up and down. Yes, but let it not be like a general attitude you have everywhere when y'all go out when y'all are in the house like know the times where you can break away from that femininity and just be rugged with him and know the times where you need to maintain the status quo and just emphasize the beauty of your femininity when it comes to food a lot of girls have noticed when it comes to food we like to foam sometimes especially when we go out with the guy maybe we go out on a date or a restaurant or a fast food or whatever when they ask you what do you want to eat a lot of us will start forming. Oh, I don't eat swallow, but you eat swallow. But when he buys you food, you don't be picking at the food. You won't finish it. You don't have to try to be what you're not. Then also, I know of some girls that will not start forming phonetics. You not start trying to speak through your nose. You won't speak the normal way you speak. Why? The person you're speaking to is speaking like a regular Nigerian with a thick, beautiful, sexy Nigerian accent. But you're there trying to form. Uh, I don't drink water. You, like, no. I think it's a turn off. It's a turn off for me. And I think it's a turn off for a lot of people generally. You understand? A man wants someone that can be real. So you don't have to form what you're not. I feel like some of those things are taking it too far. So try to be feminine, but also show that you can be real, if you know what I mean. Because we are Nigerians. We know how rugged Nigeria is. There are some things that if you do, is normal. I'm not trying to say you should act ras or anything. But know when to be real and know when to bring in your femi feminine attitude and feminine charms and all that stuff. So that's that for my first point. So my second point is don't be, don't, see girls, listen, don't be too financially demanding, especially when you guys are just starting. Sure, even when you guys, see, even when a man marries you, he doesn't want to feel like he's your all in all, like without him, you can't buy your pad that you use for your monthly period, you cannot make your hair, 
don't try to be too financially demanding yes i believe in a man being a man i believe if i'm dating you if i'm married to you you should be able to show that some of my responsibilities i'm, I'm sorry <laughs> i can take care of myself but there are some things that are the man in my life it is your it is your place to kind of provide to an extent you understand you should be able to shower me with love with gifts and stuff like that but it doesn't mean that i can't survive without i don't have to be dependent on you for everything now there's a mistake a lot of girls make like i cringe when i hear this and you see guys making jokes about this all over social media they are like the moment they just whatsapp a girl or they chat her up they just hit her up like hey babe how are you doing the girl is like i'm not happy hmm. once they see i'm not happy they already know it's already ringing in their head like alarm bells are blaring they're like okay babe what's up i'm not happy my phone just spoiled i need twenty thousand around to repair it or they'll say ah please can you just help me look for two or three thousand naira? It's urgent. Why? Why will you degrade yourself? Like, I don't understand. And some people actually make this a lifestyle. They're going to do it to guy A that, that is asking them about to guy B, to guy C. Like, they are tax collectors collecting the money left, right, and center. And you don't have to do that. I feel like a girl would do that maybe when she's not even interested in the guy. Because if it's a guy you're interested in, then you want to make a good impression on him. And if you want to make a good impression on him, you don't want to come off as a hungry, gold digging girl that can't even take care of herself you understand so we need to tr at least try not to be too financially demanding you know don't carry all your family problem and all your life problem and put on his head he's not your father okay girls number three point that i have is let them know that you have standards let them know that you're not just any random girl that they can just pull some stunts on have a little class play a little hard together now i said a little because there's such a thing as too much especially when you know that you're available you like this person you probably you know like them enough to want to date them you want to do a little see men love the chase let's not lie they want to feel like they chase after you and the fact that they have to work hard to get you means that any random person there can't just get you easily you understand so let them you know let them work for it a bit but don't don't make it too difficult that it discourages them let them know you have a little standard now here is what i do because i am an independent woman i'm working i'm well like you guys you guys know my age i'm 30 i'm independent i pay my bills and stuff so any guy that is going to come up to me and expect me to take him seriously first of all you have to be working now i'm not going to talk about your financial bracket or anything but you have to be working and for you to be working there are some things i'm expecting you to do if you want me to have to give you my time to go out on a date with you so if you ask me out on a date what i usually do i'm like okay are you coming to pick me up or are you sending an uber you don't have to have attitude about it just might ask nicely okay so um how do i get there do i are you going to come and pick me um or are you going to um, pay for my uber let him know and if he's like oh can't you take a public transport you're like excuse me I don't do that. It's not like I can't drop a public transport. But if I'm coming on a date with you, I expect you to be able to make arrangements on how I'm going to get to you safely and how I'm going to get back home safely. Is it too much to ask? And if it's, his answer is not satisfactory, sis, you are not going on that date. Sit in your house, drink water and sleep. Okay? Don't show, sell yourself too cheap for this man. Especially if you have gotten to a certain point in your life that any man that is coming to your life should be coming for something serious. Except maybe you're just a teenager and you just want to chill and stuff, okay? But if you're at a certain age and you want something serious and you want these people to take you seriously, believe me, you want to show them you have standards. Then another thing that can show a man that you have standards is sometimes some, girl, some guys just think they can just call you up from nowhere and ask if you are free that night. Hey babe, what's up? My friend is having a house party and I, I would like you to accompany me. See, even if I am bored to death, I am idle in my house. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's too sudden. Oh, there was something I wanted to do this night. Why didn't you call me earlier? Are you just knowing about it? Oh, okay. I would have loved to come, but uh, it's too sudden. Like, the notice is too short. Maybe next time, just at least tell me two or three days to the time. Then I can let you know if I'm available. Because... Even if you like the guy, he needs to know. See, these men basically have to be taught how to treat you. He needs to know that you're not a kind of girl that someone can just call randomly, like a booty call, and you will show up. And most times, let me tell you, if he calls you randomly like that, it is because all the other options have failed him. <laughs> and then you are the available one, and you're just picking up pieces of, of crumbs. Now, when you let these men know that you have standards, you will earn your respect. So, um, the fourth point I have to say is show interest in their personal life. Listen to what they have to say. I even advise that you listen more than you talk because believe me, when men like you, they want to talk, they want to impress you, they have a lot to say, they want to let you know how they have things together, they want to let you know their wins, you know, they want to let you know that they are worthy of your time. So listen to what they have to say. That is going to help you to understand the kind of person they are, that is going to let you know 
more about them and then you will know if they are worth your time if you want to be with them they will let you you will let you know their flaws and if it's something that you can live with something that you don't mind having in a man that you're in a relationship with ask about his family ask about his job ask about his upbringing ask about his fears ask about his amb ambition ask about stuff you know get to know this man just ask questions he will open up to you and if he's the kind of person that is not really opening up to you then that's probably a red flag what i do is if i meet someone and they're like tell me about yourself i don't start going oh my name is this and i am from here and i went to this school and i did that no i'm like how about you tell me first that i feel it's more gentlemanly for you to tell me because i mean you're the one asking me it's proper for you to introduce yourself first so what do you have to tell me about you then from there i cannot talk about myself i never go first I begin to ask you questions like, how about your family? How about your work? This, da, 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 da. Don't ask too many personal questions like, oh, when was your last relationship? When was the last time you had sex? No, not when you're still just getting to know the person. There's some things you don't talk about at first. So try to be interested in what they have to say. That way you will learn more about them and know if they are worth your time. And if he's a good guy, believe me, he's going to appreciate the fact that you're interested in him. This is my favorite part, guys. The number five point I have is highlight your achievements without sounding like you're bragging nigerian men specifically need to know that you will be an asset that you won't be a liability you're not just a slay queen with no brains i like to slay excuse me like have you seen me yes but i need them to know that what you guys are seeing this is not all that i'm about that there's something up in here that i can take care of myself i have a vision for my life i am a very organized and focused person so they need to know that learn how to highlight your achievements like what are the things in your life that you're proud of what are the things in your life that you feel like can make you an asset to anyone who comes into your life you subtly just bring it into the conversation you know but let me use this for like an example there was a person that i met a while ago and then we started talking and he was he asked me the whole can i get to know you i'm like oh you tell me about yourself first and he mentioned his his line of work his occupation and all that then he asked me what i do and i'm like oh i'm a makeup artist and a content creator now there's a stereotype that comes with being a makeup artist in nigeria they feel like you're all beauty no brains you're a slay queen or you're even a rose babe but i needed to let this guy know that i am not the regular makeup artist out there i don't just paint faces i am a businesswoman i am a focused person i know where i'm going i have a plan for my business and for my life did you know what i did when i told him what i do he was like oh okay oh you're a makeup artist i'd like to see some of your jobs can i see some of your jobs and i'm like oh fine are you on instagram i didn't just want to start sending him pictures of my jobs i could have done that but i wanted him to go and see for himself how organized i look like for him to have a sneak peek into my world basically what i did was that i gave him my instagram handle he went and checked my page he saw my clients page where of course i have some celebrity clients on that page the page is well organized you can see the good camera quality you can see that okay this is someone that has planned and invested in her business and then he went to my personal beauty influencer page and he saw probably he saw that i was getting a lot of views at least reasonable amount of views comments and engagements and you know being hosted on instagram lives and stuff like that and then he just deduced by himself that okay i'm not just talking to a regular makeup artist so do you see how i suddenly let him know the caliber of person that i am the kind of person that i am and the achievements that i have made to an extent he might not know fully what it is but he has seen it you know he has seen that okay this is someone that obviously knows what she's doing with herself so somehow if it's a skill that you have if you're a skilled person maybe you can make clothes or you can make hair or whatever somehow try to show that off if you have a degree or a master's or whatever or you're trying to get admission or you just got admission you're studying this you're studying that you know whatever so let them know that you have a plan for your life like you're not coming to depend on him a hundred percent because men these days are wary of women that are going to be dependent on them hundred percent for everything so you need to let him know that you have yourself worked out you have a source of livelihood you have your dreams you have your ambitions you're put together that way even he is going to want to be with you more so just learn how to highlight your achievement but without sounding like you're bragging okay don't sound like you're bragging men don't want to feel like you're bragging or you're trying to drag the spotlight with them just do it in a subtle way they're going to get the message believe me so the sixth point is do not appear to be perfect or holier than thou yes a lot of girls do this you know like let's tell ourselves the truth everybody wants people to be real everybody wants they want to know that you're human too don't act like your life is perfect you have it all figured out you've never made a mistake you don't do some certain things because they are for sinners and you're miss goody two shoes 
they don't want to feel like you're boring they want to know that okay this person is someone that i can get down and dirty with this is someone that we can laugh we can do this we can do that we can share experiences you know you don't have to be holy or make it seem like you have never done something wrong or you have never seen before i'm not saying you should go and tell them all your secrets or all the mistakes you have made in your life no i'm just saying there are some things that are not necessary for you to lie about for instance a guy may ask you do you go clubbing you know be like ah no i don't really like it but you know you are lying deep inside and see you're always turning up in the club you're always smoking shisha and twerking <laughs> hey my god why are you lying so like when the guy asked me do you go clubbing honestly i don't really go clubbing like the last time i went clubbing was my friend's birthday like two years ago i can see clubbing is the person i'm going to do once this goddamn pandemic is over i am clubbing i see i'm saying it on my youtube channel because it's not a crime <laughs> you understand so a guy may ask you do you club and you'll be like oh no i don't really like it but deep down you know you club even if you don't club say don't make it look like ah clubbing i don't like it though mm -mm. just say oh it's not really my kind of thing though but i actually can go to a band just listen to chill music so it's not like you're criticizing the people that club like you're better than them or like clubbing is one thing you don't have to do that it's unnecessary then sometimes a man may feel comfortable with you to an extent to tell you one or two things that he's struggling with or one or two vices that he has, one or two bad habits that he has. A guy can just come up. I, I, I made this mistake once when I was actually younger. There was a guy that really liked me and then he told me that he smokes. You know, he smokes and I was like, mm, you smoke? No. Ah, what kind of, why would you smoke? Now, don't you know it's dangerous to your health? Ah, please, I can't take someone who smokes so da, 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 and I was blabbing my mouth. Then I didn't know the rule about listening more than you talk. I was talking, I criticized, I made the guy feel like he killed a human being because he smoked. The way I acted was genuinely stupid. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. So that doesn't make sense. Because whether you like it or not, even you actually have things that you're struggling with. You have bad habits you're trying to overcome. Even they, they already know those habits are bad. And they probably want to change, but some of these things are not easy. So what you need to do is, you may let them know you're not cool with it. They may not be like, wow, you smoke. I hope you know that's dangerous for your health. Do you plan on stopping anytime soon? Don't beat, don't overflow the issue. Do you understand? After some time, you will know if, if, it's a, if it's something you can live with or if it's something you can help him to overcome. That's if you guys get into a relationship and stuff like that. So, you don't have to like make everything seem bad and you are perfect and you are holier than thou and then they are sinners or maybe they kill Jesus. Because guess what? We all kill Jesus. So, number seven is buy him a gift. Buy him a gift. A lot of times, we ladies believe that men are the gifters and we are the gifties. No. It's not their job to buy you gift while you only receive. Once in a while, you buy them something. Now, you don't have to be anything too flamboyant or you don't have to break the bank or anything. And believe me, I won't buy a gift for someone that I don't like or someone that I don't feel is worth my time. I won't buy you a gift on the first date, on the second date, on the third time we are meeting. No. It has to be when I'm really comfortable with you, I feel like, okay, there is really potential here. It may just be, it may not be anything serious. It may just be if I'm coming to see you, I may buy fruits. Or if I notice that you're a fan of... Um, in front of what maybe you like reading books i may buy you a book or something you know just something to show that okay i care about you but i'm not breaking the bank here because you're not boyfriend yet even if it's boyfriend i'm not going to tell you how to act with a boyfriend i'm just telling you how to charm in Nigerian man so this video is basically for someone you're not dating yet so if you're really considering him and stuff you could buy him something especially if someone has taken if, if he has taken you out some a couple of times and he has already spent some amount of money on you you don't have to go all out trying to say okay the third date is on me i'm going to pay for everything no you could just buy a gift you know you know basically just show that you're a considerate person that you're caring that you like him believe me a gift is going to go a long way i'm not telling you to go and buy him boxers and singlets he's not your boyfriend but you know a, yeah it's a good idea and believe me men blush he will blush he will blush okay <laughs> the eighth point i have here is let him be a man remember that i said um we should be feminine let them be men men will be men boys will be boys they want to feel like they're strong they can protect you they can shield you they, they can pamper you let him pamper you okay what i do if i'm going on a date with a guy and for instance we walk up to maybe the restaurant or wherever it is we're going and it's time to open the hard door you know that door that you have to use all your muscle to open do you know what i do when i walk to the door even if it's behind me i'll stand back and let him open the door for me that sends a message that okay number one she's allowing me to lead to an extent number two she's allowing me to be the man she's being a lady she's calm she knows when to to relax and allow me to step in because believe me these little actions actually you know show in show a lot they mean a lot so that's what i do 
then another thing is this issue of splitting the bill when you guys go out i actually don't believe in splitting the bill i'm sorry especially when we're just going out for the first few dates i don't believe i'm not saying you should not if you want to split the bill it's totally up to you but i will not split the bill but maybe after a couple of dates and stuff probably i could just decide to just handle something for instance uh, maybe if he's buying the movie ticket i'll be like oh don't worry i'll, hand, I'll handle the, the popcorn i can do that because i work too he needs to know that i'm not all about coming to eat all your money and then don't even feel like because he's handing the bill you now want to go and be, be a gluten and order everything and just be extravagant that doesn't make sense because when you like a guy you shouldn't be trying to wreck him anyway so um i will let the man handle the bill what I, <laughs> but i won't be stupid about it for instance i won't go ordering things that i know number one that i can't afford to pay just in case he decides to mess me up which is why you should always have your own cash we call it vex money when you go out with these guys have your own cash with you so that in case of anything you can afford to pay so that they won't ask you to wash plates if you know what i mean so let him pay the bills but you can also chip in from here to there from time to time when you feel like he has earned it when he has earned it you can do that then by allowing a man to be a man there's a way you look at him there's a way you talk to him you know there's a way you say please you say thank you when he buys something or when he pays for something say thank you show your gratitude if you need to say please say please if you need to say thank you say thank you sometimes you're just your eyes will do the talking <laughs> you understand so that's just what i'm saying like let him be the man let him feel like yes oh i did that and he made her happy and she appreciated it she said thank you so it will definitely boost his ego men are egotistic, egoistic creatures even if they try to deny it and i'm not saying ego is a bad thing we as women just know how to need to know how to work their ego to our own advantage so i think i'm going to be ending this video here let me know if you guys enjoyed it which of the points do you think makes more sense to you and if there's anyone you disagree with please let me know in the comment section and if you have any other thing to add as to you know how to charm a man especially a nigerian man please add it in the comment section i want to read from you guys guys the tutorial of this gorgeous makeup look you guys see how i did my makeup and my hair is going to be dropping soon it's going to be dropping next after this video so be sure to check it out when it drops i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah this is the end of the girl talk with doom 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 i like to call myself doom doom so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't give this video a thumbs up please share it help me it always helps when you guys share and i will see you guys in my next video I love you. Bye.